So while EFT tapping can absolutely help us to embrace our true self, let's talk about the authenticity of embracing our true self. Let's talk about the authenticity of where I am right now in, in, a, in a state of I obviously have some grief that's going to, to, to play out. I have some very, very heightened emotions in my body that are going to play out. So while we talk about the true self, what I really want to embrace with you is the ability to show up for others in an authentic way without making it about ourselves. So my, my gorgeous friend, I won't mention her name, my gorgeous friend, um, my plan is and my aim is and my the best of my ability is to show up for her. To, get, to be supportive for her and to talk to her and communicate with her is my goal and is my aim and is the plan what I will do. However, with all of us, our own lives get in the way as well. There is a whole lot of our own life takes over, our own priorities get lumped in, and while we have all these plans to support these other people, sometimes our own stuff takes over. So we have to be very mindful and very kind and considerate and careful with ourselves while we are going through this support space to make sure we honour our own needs. There is no real point in getting yourself into such an overwhelmed state to support the other person, to allow illness to come to you, to get to a stage where you just can't do any more. That is a, a real, that is not living authentic. That is not being true to yourself, all right? Now, the, the other side of it is, how do we show up authentically for somebody else? Uh, what is the mechanism in us that needs to, to shift? What is the mechanism in us that needs to um, needs to step out of and step away from the ego side of it, of being all about us? I could make this all about me. Um, I said there is an element that I, will, that I will go and I will have a cry about this. But there is also an element of how do I show up and support her? How do I turn up in my authenticity, in being who I truly am, to give her the support that she needs? And what I have recognised through talking to her this morning is I need to show up in a space of service to her and a space of being able to give to her. But I also need to make sure that I keep my own energy and my own self and my own awareness of who I am and how I behave in check as well it can be very very hard obviously for the person who's going through the illness but it'd be hard for the rest of us to know what to say i know many years ago i had a friend whose partner had in fact suicided i was going down to um interstate to go in and basically pick her up and help her and bring her back to sydney and i had to ring another friend and just go like how do i show up how do i act? what do i say to her when i get there what do i how do i support her what what do I do because I'd never been in that position before? And for many of us, that's what happens. We go into this space where something's happened to somebody else and, and it's it's a challenge to not make it all about you. So in the authenticity, the, the idea is we need to recognise what we can give, recognise how we can give, recognise being able to resolve our own trauma around this, our own our emotional intensity around this, and how to be able to support from a place of knowing that you've got yourself. And I said, and that's the authenticity side of just being able to make sure when you come into that support space that you've done some of your own work on some of your own grief, on some of your own trauma, on what it's going to be like for this person. So for me, and I want to take you into some tapping now, for my friend, I know that to be able to talk to her on the phone, while we, we'll, we'll sit and we'll cry together on the phone, that's not always going to be helpful for her, is for me to be on the phone with her and always crying with her. There needs to be a different way for me to show up. So why don't we just do some tapping on how do I show up for my friend? Now, this could go completely all over the shop and it could get come out completely wrong. I said, I, I recognise I recognize the intensity in my body and I recognize um, the emotions that just keep coming up in my body and in how I'm showing up for you. It's literally been minutes ago that this happened. And it was, you know what, Lorna, you need to just get yourself together. You need to get on that live. You need to show up for other people and be, be real and be raw in me 
in who I am and how I also, you know, I'm far from a robot, so I need to work myself through this as well. So today I'll just do some tapping with me. Even though I have this friend and she's going through something fairly substantial, I need to still look after me so I can show up for her and deeply and completely trust in the universe today. Even though I'm very emotional about my friend, it is so unfair this is happening to her. But in order to serve her best, I need to show up in my authenticity. I need to be sure to look after me so I can support her deeply and completely have faith in the universe. Even though my dear friend is unwell, I have all this grief. I have all this sadness. I deeply and completely trust in the universe. All right, so we're just going to tap through the points. And I'm just going to acknowledge that I, I actually have all this grief around this. I have so much sadness. I know I want to show up for her. But I also need to show up for me first. I need to look after me so I can look after her. I need to look after me so I can look after her. But I acknowledge all of the grief and how it's showing up in my body. I'm acknowledging all of the sadness that I have around this. All my projected thoughts of the outcome. All of the worries I have about what she'll go through. All very, very, very human. And I'm acknowledging that they're all here. To show up for her. I need to make sure I show up for me. I need to be true to me, leaving my authenticity about where I can help, about how I help, how I support by showing up for me first. I have all of this grief. I have so much sadness. It will pass through my body and I can release it. So when I come to support her, I'm from a much calmer state without making it all about me, without making any of it about me because I'll be able to resolve my own energy circuitry, calm my body, recognise that I'm not going through it, recognise there is a shock value for me when I hear what she's got going on. There is a shock value in my body and I may need to clear it, to move it through, and to let it go, and to remind my body this diagnosis is not us. 
this diagnosis is not my body. It is another human body. I care for her deeply, but it is not me. It is not me going through this. It is not my body that is unwell. I can calm my own body. Despite the shock, it's not my body. I can calm my own body. So if I can be of service to my friend and come from a state of feeling relaxed and calm and in a supporting role. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I know it was off track from where we were planning to go and off track but where we were planning to be. I must, I don't know how you feel, but I feel an awful lot better from having done that. Tapping is, is just the best. Interestingly, where it went for me in my head was recognising my shock value when I get her diagnosis. She's obviously got a shock value because of the read what it says um, and recognising that. So that's a really good indicator if you have people who you need to be in a support role for because they've got an illness of or, or a disease that they're going to manage them, themselves through recognize the shock value in your body because as soon as I started to say that I recognized where it all calmed down and I felt so much better about it um yeah so so that's today I said very much um thank you for allowing me to be vulnerable with you thank you for allowing me to be to just show up as I am um didn't even put my lippy on this morning you know I always run off to get my red lippy before I come online but um yeah so if you've got someone that you're going to support through Come from your own space of integrity for you. Um, show up the best way you can for you. Protect your energy and protect your body and protect your thoughts that, that you've got going on for you. And maybe do that tapping on the um, it's not my diagnosis, it's somebody else's because I feel so much better having released that from my body so that it's not my body holding on to that. Thank you and have a beautiful day. If I have one message from re reading her messages, it would be, Spend the day recognising what is important. Spend the day recognising who is important. Spend the day recognising where your energy is best spent. Is it in all that negative thought and negative thinking and all those fights and worries? Or is it in a space of thinking the world's got my back and today can be a beautiful day?